hi, I'm a lesbian, or at least I think I'm a lesbian. Yes, but I'm the biggest, let's be wrong. This is just to prove why be Why be I'm gonna come on here and have a good time. Oh yeah. Oh, they saw my tum tum. The moon landing didn't happen. Oh, the moon landing? That didn't happen. I promise it didn't. I would bet like all of my money. Oh, sorry, I farted. What? Ooh, daddy. Daddy. What I'm trying to say, one day I will be a plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy to think about. I already know, like I treated the last week as if I was on vacation for the first time in my whole life. And I don't regret a single moment of it. I literally only live once. Hey, Gauls, how you doing? After she had a six week to hang out with her grandma and mother, our goal has slowed down and she decided to bless us with a way in and a Q&A. It'll be on Friday though, another what I ate today video because I do enjoy filming those. I know you guys like to see a little bit of what I eat. I know that's like very highly requested. So that is still going to be a thing. I mean, she is not wrong. It is very entertaining to watch her order take out twice a day and call it a seven out of 10 for the day being a good day. We enjoy delusional queen. So from my last weigh-in video, I have a little update. As you guys know, someone in public took a photo of me without me knowing and then took a really creepy weird video of me, of my butt, like literally an inch away from me. I didn't care about the photo, but the video did give me the creeps. I mean, she has the right to feel how she feels, but I don't think the person taking the picture wanted to show her butt to be creepy lol. They were walking past her and wanted to take a video without her noticing because they are a hater, that's it. And I know a lot of you agree with that. Just like imagine that, that happening to like your daughter or your mom or something like that. I feel like maybe taking me out of the picture and like thinking of it happening to someone that like you know that you care about. Then I feel like you, you can see it a little bit more from my point of view. Cute. She is pretending she cares about other goals and women. They didn't take the picture for sexual or creepy reasons. You are a celebrity in a world, but it is cute that you think they were being creepy. She has literally filmed Dusty when she was shitting in the toilet with her butt out and even in the shower. Does anyone remember that co-worker of hers when she was at the living facility? She would tell her to stop filming every single time Amberlyn pointed the phone at her, and she would just giggle and continue. Now that is creepy and inappropriate behavior. The update is, um, the person who took the photo of me is actually a girl who I actually was talking to at the laundromat, which I find to be even more, like, weird and creepy, because it just goes to show, like, how fake people can be, because, like, she seemed pretty chill, um, she sat next to me for a little bit. We were both waiting for our stuff and we had a few exchanges. I didn't like talk much to her, but I'm very much used to like being in public and like strangers talking to me. Amberlyn pretends her grandma is her close friend also Amberlyn. It goes to show how fake people can be. I'm used to people talking to me in public. Do you mean normal human interaction? WTF is she talking about? And the goal doesn't have to declare that she knows you lol. She could have faked it like the other dude, but to each their own. I would have pretended to be the biggest fan, which is not a law, and taken a damn full-size Victoria fuss. I did correspond with this woman, and it's just weird to know that, like, the whole time she knew who I was, and she knew that she was going to take a picture of me, or that she already did, but the video was actually taken by her husband, which, again, it's not safe out here for women. Go you were at the damn laundry mat downstairs, and a fan took a photo, stop trying to be part of something you are not. But in this situation, like, I feel like I am a woman who is unsafe, and like, a man is literally getting super close to me and taking a video of my butt to show online. It makes me uncomfy, and I'm going to like, stand by that. I will forever stand by that. Oh my god, Gaul just drops it already lol. The point of the video was not to show your butt, and I don't want to be mean, but you have ruined your body, and the different parts are not even visible. What do you say to the rumors that the weigh-ins are fake? I just think that's silly. This is something that's always been going on on my channel where people think I fake my weigh-ins because people think that I weigh more than I actually say that I do. Which, let's be realistic here. Scientifically, that would be impossible. Because for someone my size, over 500 pounds, like I just recently walked a mile, do you really think that someone like, if I was even bigger than that, if anyone was even bigger than that, like that would have been like possible? And what kind of logic is that? This is another example of how she thinks that she is so different than other obese people and how she can do so much more. She walked a mile for one hour, and she will never stop mentioning that lol. Why can't a 600 pounds person walk a mile? Maybe they have good stamina, why are you judging them? I just know firsthand, like, looking at myself from any point of view, whether it's my point of view, or from someone else's camera, or a mirror, like whatever maybe. I know that I don't look more than what I weigh. Again, she is so freaking delusional. She thinks that she looks different than a 600 pounds gore. You are morbidly obese and at some point, 50 pounds doesn't matter at all. 
if you were in a lineup, people would guess you are 600 pounds. She really thinks she is the skinny one out of the obese goals. So I think we're past the part of like, oh, we don't trust Amber Lynn. That's why we don't believe her weigh-ins. It's more so like, hi, I'm bored. I don't have a life. So let's like say, you know, Amber Lynn's making these weigh-ins because we have nothing else to talk about. The nerve of you to try to be all smug about not weighing 600 pounds while your double chin is dancing up there with every word that comes out of those thin lips. Again, saying people don't have a life while you do a video organizing your wax smells is a very rich goal. Question is, does it get exhausting constantly thinking about your weight? Yes, because it's like, I think about it regardless of what I'm doing. I think about it when I'm eating. I think about it when I'm showering. I think about it when I'm walking Twinkie. Like, I don't need to say everyone like as an absolute, but it just feels like that is such like a heavy topic and like a hot topic where it's just like, no matter what I do, it's just like my weight, my weight, my weight. That's all anyone wants to talk about. Oh, boohoo, bitch. You are making a living out of being fat. We all feel bad for you. There are influencers who are bigger and are able to have an audience who is attracted to other parts of their life other than weight. However, what do you have to offer beside the whole weight loss shtick? You want people to watch you for doing Legos and organizing your 100 notebooks and waxes. Be for real goal. The last question is, are you worried about all of the plus size influencers dying? So I chose this question because this is something I've actually been like <laughs> thinking about a lot. First of all, those are not plus size. They are plus size pro max. And you thinking about those people and still gaining weight makes everything else you are about to say bullshit. I have never been part of health at every size because I don't believe that. She had my papers in her hands and she was like you are healthy, but you are obese. She constantly says how she doesn't believe in health at every size, but every time she gets sick and someone mentions her weight, she says this could happen to a skinny person, which is the point of every health at every size people make. I'm very much like body positivity though, like love that body physically, like what you look like regardless of your size because everyone is beautiful. I feel like this is an only in America moment lol. Love my American goals though. I don't think there is anything beautiful about your body and you have described it as grotesque which is a better word. What I'm trying to say, one day I will be a plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy to think about. Really? It's crazy to think a 500 plus pounds goal with so many health issues could die. But reality is, is reality is reality. Um, now I'm stuttering. I don't even know what I'm saying because the topic of death is one that I don't enjoy. Everyone dies. And it's just like, if losing weight was easy, then we would all have our perfect bodies. We would all have our perfect health. Like, People are not saying losing weight is easy. But you take it to another level with giving up literally the first day. Brain chemistry slash chemicals, mental illness, trauma, like it's so many different things mixed up and it's not fun and it's not fair. And you guys have seen me literally try everything under the sun to lose weight and I always do. I lose weight but then I gain it back. Trying everything is not you doing a diet and not sticking by anything in that diet lol. The crazy thing is you had a real chance of getting weight loss surgery and changing your life but you were not ready to do that so don't tell us you have tried everything. You're a person with zero willpower, and you don't take no for an answer, not from other people and not from yourself. We've seen it in many aspects of your life, not just food. But for me, for some reason, I've tried 10,000 times and I just can't seem to get it. And then it makes people question all the time, like, does she just enjoy being fat? Like, is this just her thing? No, I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate food. I hate my weight. I hate my body. I hate my size. I hate the way I walk because of it. I hate the way I'm treated because of it. See, she can't even be honest with herself. You love food, what the hell are you talking about? I mean, we've seen you have a foodgasm every time you even think about food, so this whole I hate food and it's mental illness making meat is bullshit. I hate the health issues I've had because of it, I hate the health issues that will happen because of it, like, I hate every single second, but I feel stuck. I feel mentally stuck, I feel physically stuck, I feel emotionally stuck, I just feel stuck and confused and lost, and it's like, people think they have all the answers, people think they know exactly what to do, and... She is talking to herself now because she is the only person who acts like she has figured out everything out for herself. And crying doesn't mean anything for someone like her. She cries for everything. You can say you hate food and everything about your weight, but your actions speak louder gall. I've spent majority of my life not living because of my size, not experiencing because of my size, and it's like, it's only been as of recently where I have felt myself become alive a little bit more, and I feel myself coming out of like this mentally and physically paralyzed stage. This last week was like the best week that I've had. And I can't even tell you how long. Every day I felt like I was living, every day I felt like I was existing and I was happy and I rarely thought about my weight. And I love how she thinks that is what is good for her. Going a full week of eating whatever she wants and not thinking about how it could be her last meal. And she is acting like she did something so new that she has never done before. 
She literally went shopping and ate and drank, which is all things she could do before. I just enjoy life with friends and go to bars and like get drinks and then just all these things. Like I, I come back after all of that, after the high of just feeling so happy and I step on the scale and I gain weight. The reason why you were happy is because you had a reason or an excuse to eat and do whatever you wanted. It was not because of friends because I guarantee if you just hung out with friends without food involved, you would not have enjoyed it at all. That's no surprise. After a week of all of that, and I, I've never done so much walking in my life, but as someone with lipedema and lymphedema, the more I walk, the more I swell, the more I gain weight. This 500 pounds bitch just blamed gaining weight after a week of eating like shit on walking. Fucking walking calls. That's something that I have to figure out something I have to work on. There's only so much I can do because again, these things are not curable. Of course that is a problem, but hearing her blame everything on that and pretend that she can't control so much more shit that is causing her to gain weight is laughable, honestly. So it is February 7th. I already know, like I treated the last week as if I was on vacation for the first time in my whole life. And I don't regret a single moment of it. I literally only live once. What can I even say goals? She gained weight and doesn't regret anything. This is for the new people or the naive people who still believe she could one day lose weight. Hello. It's ready. 515.0 pounds. Alright, so 515.0. Yup. The bitch is almost proud of herself, and that's how she really feels. This whole sitting down and crying for herself is just her way of gaining sympathy, that's all. She is happy the way she is, and I'm happy for her. You know how easy it would be for me to make like a whole box of hamburger helper and like eat that and be like, oh, it's totally fine because like I cook that at home. But that's more calories than me getting like, say a meal from McDonald's, you know, it just like depends on the meal, of course. But it's not always cook at home. Cooking at home doesn't automatically make something healthy. I would like to be delusional and think that. And I'm sure there was an era in my life where I did think that way. But that's just not realistic because there's so many things that you can cook at home that are just as bad as getting takeout. And there are takeout things that you can get that is way healthier than whatever it is you're cooking at home. Name me a takeout that you order that is better than cooking at home. She is acting like she is ordering diet meals and grilled chicken when she is always ordering shit that is high in calories. I'm really focusing this year on losing those 100 pounds. And um, honestly, I'm only down 0.8 of those pounds, but I know that I can still do it. And I know that's possible. I know I sound like a joke. I know a lot of people are probably laughing at me. But it's like one thing about myself is that I never give up. And that is something I love about myself. And I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying. No goal. One thing you do is give up. And the fact that you think you can lose 100 pounds when you only lost 0 0.8 is called being delusional. And we love you for that. Dude, here, let's go back, 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 back.